y'all. It's Diane with Shall Craft One and my old barn door. And I just came to show you a quick video flip through of my Holly Hobby journal that I created as a custom order for a customer and a sweet, sweet friend. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick flip through, mainly so she can see it because I know she's excited about it, um, but to share it with you guys too so that you can, you know, maybe get some ideas or whatever. This is absolutely the biggest journal I've ever made. It is huge. Um, it is 12 and a half long and 10 inches wide. Um, this, you know, is a little bit extra. That's where I sewed the journal cover on. Um, so, makes it a little bigger. The spine is about one and three quarter inches. And as you can see, um, <laughs> it has some severe alligator mouth. But I have stuffed a lot of things in here for her that I know when she gets it, she'll be taking those things out. Some of them are gifts for her things like that so I know that when she gets it she'll she'll be able to empty it a little bit and put her own goodies in there so just kind of wanted to show you real quick on this um, on the cover um, I used um, I actually bought um, a, a Holly Hobby bed sheet from um, I think it was someone on eBay and so I used the uh, one of the pictures in that bed sheet or you know one of the images because um, my friend is a gardener she is a beautiful wonderful gardener and so um, I wanted her to have something to do with gardening um, incorporated into the journal so that's why I used this one particular image and then on the spine I have put um, these pretty pretty little teal colored um, rosettes and then on the back um, she said she liked the last cover that I did of my, um, the last Holly Hobby journal that I did. So I went ahead and went with the same type of theme, um, on the back of the journal as well for her. And then, um, as you can see, I think you can see, let me see if I can see it in the, in the camera. Um, it, this is the center signature strings that were left over. And so I really, really wanted to, um, just really bling up the journal for her. So um, I added lots of beads and, and the pretty little um, crystals at the end. And then of course, she loved the tassel that I did on the last one. So of course I did, I made her a tassel to go with this one. And so I'll just show you the tassel that I made. I made it with a, um, a vintage wooden spool and um, the top and the bottom was a little bit rough. So I just um, cut out some vintage wallpaper um, to top it with to put on the top and the bottom. And then in the um, tassel, you have this super cute little, I don't know if you can see it. It's a Holly, jo Holly Hobby <laughs> um, charm that my sweet, sweet friend Darla sent me. Thank you so much, Darla. Um, so, um, the, uh, tassel just has beautiful, beautiful ribbons and fabric, um, and some laces in it, but I just kind of wanted to incorporate all of the colors that I had put in the journal and, you know, add some colors to it as well. So super cute little, um, little tassel there. And I, I of course put, um, fabric around the center of the spool too. So that is the tassel. I cannot wait for her to get this journal. She's been so excited about it. So I know she's going to absolutely be excited to hear um, that the journal is ready. So um, this is tied the same way I did my last Holly Hobby journal. So what I did is I just took muslin and I sewed it inside. So it's, it's um, completely sewn in and it wraps around the book on the inside cover, um, which you can't see where it wraps. But... Um, that makes for a really, really good sturdy tie, and so she can tie it up and keep her items safely and neatly inside. So we're just going to go on in and do a quick flip through of the journal. Hopefully you can see everything. Um, I know it's kind of close up, but this is actually as far away as I can get my camera, and so, um, <laughs> it might be a little bit difficult, but that's okay. So on the front, I used, um... Uh, some of those uh, quilted background digitals that I have in my shop. So I made a little pocket out of it. And then, of course, I put my patch down here um, with my card in there. And then inside the pocket, 
I put her, this is a card for her. It's really, really pretty, but it's just for her. So, um, but I put one of my little um, um, sewn collages on the front of the card for her. So she can actually reuse the envelope in her journal if she wants to. And then I just made her a big tag um, out of the extra piece that was left over and stuff that in the pocket and then I found this vintage stationery that is so stinking cute and it has the little pink envelopes that go with it so I put her a piece of that in the front pocket as well so we'll just slide those back in there she had sent me this book and I was so excited and I um, I was trying to figure out what kind of cover I was going to use and I decided that I was just going to use the actual book that she sent me. So I used the whole book and I used the whole, all of the pages in the journal. So you have everything from that book, Maria, you have it in your journal. So I loved, loved, loved the color, the cover pages and the inside covers looked exactly the same. And so I had a really, really hard time deciding to do the cover like this and cover that up. But I know that she said she did like the way I did the last one. And so um, I played around with it a little bit. But um, eventually I just decided to go ahead and, and do this because um, it was the best way to do it. So, so we're just going to do a quick flip through. I'm not going to take everything out of the pockets because I want her to have some things to surprise her with. Um, but I did want to show you this. It's so stinking cute. She sent me these with the book when she sent it. And it was one of those little... Um, uh, little card things hang on and I'll show it to you this is the packaging that it came in can you see that okay and it's a, um, a card lacing kit and so it had all different colors of yarn in it and you'll see another one in here and I used some of the yarn and the needle that actually came with it in one of the pockets so but I thought the packaging was super cute and I thought she might want to use it in her journal so I went ahead and made a pocket in the back here or it's actually a belly band this is some fabric that she sent me. So I went ahead and tucked this down into the belly band so that it could go back to her with the journal. And I also wanted to show you guys, I have lots and lots, let me scoot it over so you can see, lots of lots and lots of sewing, um, fabric ruffles on the edges. It's absolutely beautiful. And then on each fabric ruffle, she gets a little charm, um, a little bead dangle or a little charm. And um, so on each ruffle, she has something really pretty um, to look at and to, she can move them around in the book and decorate them or take them off or however she wants to, to do it. So anyways, I just thought this was super cute. And she said that when she got this, it brought her back to her childhood. And so she actually took one out and sewed, um, did, this, did the sewing or the lacing. I thought it was so adorable. So I used that in this pocket. So, and again, I'm not going to take everything out of the out of the pockets just simply because I want her to be surprised. But I wanted to give her a little sneak peek um, of what's coming her way. So, this pocket was um, a quilt patch that I had gotten in some Happy Mail. And I've been waiting to use it because it was so big that it was perfect for this size journal. So, got her some lined pages. And then here I used some of the fabric washi that I got from my friend Lisa over at Handmade from Lisa. And I'll, I'll try and remember to link her in the description box below. Um, absolutely beautiful washi, um, fabric washi. She did a great job on it. And this is actually from clothing from her childhood. So I thought that was super cool that she would share that with us. Then on the next page, um, I have a little, um, this is like a planting envelope, and inside I just have some little pieces, I'm not going to take it out, but just some little pieces of some Holly Hobby um, wrapping paper, some vintage wrapping paper, and then I have it on this cute little paper clip. I don't know if you can see that because, like I say, this journal is huge. Um, I would say that this could be used as a coffee table book, and this would be an heirloom book. Like, this book is put together. It is good and solid. Um, um, it's well, very well put together, and it will last a lifetime. And then in behind here, I put her a little scripture card. And then, of course, she's got the little dangle here with the key. Sorry, I'm trying not to cough in you guys' ears, so I'm trying to pause it each time I need to cough. 
I'm telling you, this stuff will go away eventually. So in the next page, um, I put, this is some really cool vintage fabric, and I thought it went perfect with the Holly Hobby Journal with the colors in it and the style because it's a 70s style fabric. So, and then I just stuffed her little pocket with lots of fun goodies with Holly Hobby items and things that she can play with in the journal. This is one of, she sent me this doily um, with the package that she sent me of things she wanted to go into her journal. And so I sewed it in as like a page. I just think it's, it is just the most beautiful little doily. Then here we have um, a piece of vintage Holly Hobby stationery. And so it folds out like this. You write your letter on the inside and then you can fold it up and seal it and you can mail it just like this. You don't even need an envelope. So I added one of those in there for her on an um, altered paper clip. And this fabric too is some of the fabric that she sent me. And you'll see a couple of pockets made out of this fabric. And um, she wanted me to send her what was left over of the fabrics and things. But um, Maria, I used everything you sent. So it's all in the journal. So there weren't really any extras to send back to you. And I hope that's okay. <laughs> oh, and I also put her a little scripture on the back of that. Then I had this vintage um, uh, Precious Moments book. And it had some scriptures in it. Just super sweet. And I thought it would incorporate well with the Holly Hobby theme in with the Holly Hobby Journal and just add some color throughout for her. So I've got several pages of that in here. Then I made her um, a little pocket out of a vintage sewing pattern and I thought this was super cute because it has the Holly Hobby style little gowns and, and dresses and things like that. So on the back, it, I sewed on some really pretty um, shabby lace on the flap. And I reinforced the flap for her a little bit because it was a little um, fragile. And then down inside the pocket, I have some surprises for you, Maria. So I'm not going to show you what they are. Uh, but I think you kind of get the idea just from being able to see through that clear envelope of what they are. So <laughs> those will be in the journal for you. This is one of the little pockets that I had made and showed you on the last video of my quilted background digital. And so I just incorporated that into the journal and then I made her a sweet little journaling card. This is actually a, um, a greeting card. And so I just copied it into my Photoshop. It had something up here like happy birthday wishes, but I took that out and I just put her name in here because I thought that was super sweet. So a little journaling card for her there. Here's the first page of the book. And I, I didn't want to cover anything up of these pages, so I, every, all the pages from the book I left um, exactly in the condition that they were, except for one, and you'll see that one in just a minute. Uh, but I love having the copyright date showing. This is just some little, um, you know, my my obsession with um, old vintage children's workbook pages. So this is one of those, and I just added some cute little ruffle fabric there for her. And then I added another one of those little pockets that I had shown you on the, the quilted background um, video that I just did. This is some of the fabric that she sent me. So I made her a little altered paper clip to hold on her little floating pocket. So I did make this as a floating pocket. Added a scripture there. This is the only page of the um, original book that I did cover up. And it was because, you know, the content pages, is, they're not always beautiful, you know. But, so I just added um, a pocket here, and both of these fabrics are the fabrics that she sent me. And then she has a little vintage Holly Hobby playing card in there. And then um, a vintage Holly Hobby book mark that I thought was super sweet. And she loved these that I got in my Happy Mail, so I shared one with her. I just put, um, this was actually the cover of a music page book, and so I put that on the back. This is some of her fabric that she sent me, and I topped it with that. And then I made her a little, um, a little um, tag with one of the old vintage sewing patterns that I had that had the Holly Hobby looking dresses on it. So I've added that in. And then here's one of the original pages. There were two pages that weren't attached to another page. So what I did, I don't know if you can see it, but I just went in and sewed it to the page before it so that it can, 
so that it can actually be attached into the book. Now, the book pages are not in order. I did not put them in here in order because when I originally took the book apart, I wasn't planning on using all of them. But as um, I started creating, I went ahead and added all of the pages. So they won't be in order. So like this is page number 34, you know, so. Um, this is actually ledger paper from a vintage Holly Hobby cash book that my friend Sarah had sent me. And she was so kind to share it with me. So here's the cash book. And I thought it was super cute. I might wind up making myself um, a little journal out of this because it's just adorable. So I wanted to add some of that vintage ledger paper in here for her vintage wallpaper that I absolutely love and I only had just a little tiny bit left but I love the toothy feel I even love that it's got you know the little staining it's got some vintage um, dictionary pages and then these are some pages from a quilt book um, that I thought would go perfectly in with the Holly Hobby journal so I added some of those this is one of my snippet rolls from Sarah and then in this little pocket is the little booklet um, that I showed y'all on the last video with my quilted background digital. And then I have our scripture in the pocket as well. I absolutely love the colors in these Holly Hobby pages. They're just gorgeous. And I, you know me, you know I love my nursery rhymes. And this whole book is a book of nursery rhymes, so I absolutely love it. Just some ledger paper. And then this was some vintage wallpaper that Selena had sent me. I was so excited when she sent me this wallpaper, but isn't it gorgeous? It's a good, thick wallpaper. It's got a really good toothy feel to it. Um, and then you have a bag here, and inside the little bag, I put her a little, one of these, it's a lacy little bag, and it's got um, fabric scraps in there for her to be able to play with throughout her journal. And then, of course, I have to add some more of my children's workbook pages. I love how vintage and yellowed and aged the color of the paint pages. And this is like a paper doily. And then I added one of my um, collage strip embellishments. And then I just tucked her a few things in the pocket to play with. One of my claim checks that I got from Selena. Some game money. And then this is a cool little playing card that's very vintage and yellowed. Another one of the Holly Hobby pages. Some lined paper. Music paper. Some of my sprayed pages. And I put her a little collage. Um, actually, that one's a cluster on there. And then the center of the signature is one of my most favorite um, Holly Hobby vintage wrapping papers. I absolutely love this. And so I wanted to make it like the center focal point of the first signature. And then of course you have your dangles that are hanging down. I put um, washi tape. Um, or some of these are not washi tape. They're that um, that tape that Sarah had sent me, the decorative decorative tape. Um, but any of the blank pages that you know I didn't want blank. You guys know me and blank pages, so I just add a little something there to decorate with. And then this was a vintage um, Holly Hobby, like a little pillowcase or a pillow sham. And so I cut it up and I sewed the edge and made a little pocket out of it. This is a vintage stationery card. Um, that's Holly Hobby. So I put one of those in there for her. And then this is one of my um, quilted background tags that I made. And I didn't want to put a topper on it because I want her to be able to use it if she wants to um, as a photo background or whatever she wants to. But I thought that the, having a topper on it might hinder her creativity. So put some washies on these pages and then this is just a um, an envelope made from a children's book page there's nothing in it um, just wanted to add that in this is one of my most favorite pages I just love this image of Holly Hobby she's just absolutely beautiful and then here's the other side of that paper doily wall pa um, workbook paper this is the other side of the bag I left it closed. She can open it if she wants to, but I wanted to give her the option. This is the other side of that Holly Hobby wrapping paper, and so she's got a little flip open there, and then oh, I just think it's the cutest. Uh, it's not wrapping paper. It's wallpaper. It's so, so cute. I love the way it feels. The kitty cats. And then here's one of those pockets I made with some of the fabric that she sent to me. And then I just added one of my clusters onto the front of it. 
and then I tucked her in um, a little um, vintage card, an index card that I sewed some of the fabrics on. She has a vintage Holly Hobby playing card there, and then this is actually um, a little um, tag that I made from some of the leftover um, wallpaper that I wasn't able to use, so I just made a tag out of it and sewed around the edge. Thought it turned out super cute, and I love the way it feels. Another little cluster that I added there, and I just put a little bead dangle. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that okay. On the paper clip, just to give it added decoration. And then there's a little scripture there for her. So I'm just going to flip through this back side pretty quickly. Another one of the tags that I made from my quilted background pages. This is the other side of that workbook page. And I sewed on a vintage plain card with the pretty little butterflies on there. This is a floating pocket made out of one of my sacks. Um, and then it's a double pocket. So actually it can be used as a triple pocket if she wants to. But I put her a little um, Holly Hobby um, journaling card down in there. And then there's nothing up here, but you can use that as a pocket. And then if you glue it to the page, you can actually use it as a pocket behind too. So you could actually have three pockets out of this one pocket. Some lined children's writing paper. And I loved this writing paper because it's ridged like you can literally feel the ridges it's a very textured paper so i love that these are some cute cute little playing card sets that i found um i don't know what the game is um but i found two boxes of them at um, one of my thrift stores it's celebrations and seasons sequence cards and so it's it's like a whole box of these really cool little cards um, that has all the seasons, holidays, and things like that in it. But she does gardening, so I thought it would be perfect to add in a few of the gardening ones. And then I put it, clipped it on with an altered paper clip that has some really pretty uh, vintage lace on there. And then on the back side, she has a little scripture card. Here's the back of her vintage doily. Here's one of my lace snippets that I get from Sarah from the snippet rolls and then I added in um, the little tag that I used the fabric washing on that I made um, in one of my previous videos because I thought it went really cute with this journal and then another little Holly Hobby journaling card there for her. and this is super cute I have been hoarding this for a long time and I know that Maria is very, very creative, and so I'm very interested to see what she does with this. But a sweet, sweet friend of this of mine sent it to me in Happy Mail, and it's one of those um, really waxed um, strawberry ice cream little holders, like you fold it up and it, you know, it's the box for the for the strawberry ice cream. But I love the colors in it. I thought it went perfectly with this type of journal. And so I wanted to add that in because I am curious to see how creative Maria gets with that because she has one of the most beautiful creative minds I've ever seen. One of my um, tags that I made from my quilted background digital set. One of the calendar pages that I love sharing in my journals. And that is the end of the first signature. So you can see how stuffed it is. It is a super stuffed journal. Um, so we're just going to keep going so that uh, the flip through is not too awful long. We're already at 23 minutes. Um, this is um, paper from a piano roll. And you guys keep an eye out because I'm going to be doing some things with some piano rolls. Um, when we went to the flea market a couple of weekends ago, I found a whole boatload of them. So I'm going to be doing a live sale soon. And I'm going to have lots of vintage goodies for you guys. Lots of books. Um, I found a whole bunch of vintage handkerchiefs that were embroidered and things like that so be looking out because i'm hoping that next week i will be able to do the live sale so that is coming soon so this is the little um card that um one the little card that i told you um i wanted to put the um the yarn from that little card kit in, that's in the back and so i wrapped it around the little card i didn't sew it in because i know she had fun sewing it so i want her to be able to do this one as well but she wanted me to add some of the yarn and the little needle um, that you sew it with into um, the journal and so i pinned it i pinned the yarn here and i wrapped it around the little card and tied a little bow 
and then I just stuffed her some goodies um, into the pocket for her to play with as well in her journal. So, um, flip the page this way, and this is another one of those pockets I made from um, the fabric that she sent me, and this is a dried flower, and I know she's going to love this. Um, that you can use to decorate in the journal with. It's, an, it's actually a real dried flower, but if you peel it, it's enclosed, and so you can, um, it's sticky, so it's like a, um, a real dried flower sticker that you can use to decorate in your journal, Maria. And then just have her a little, couple little, little tags, and then in the front pocket is a sweet little, um, a little tag with a cute little sentiment on there. This one has a big bag in it, and inside the big bag, I put this. I was going to make a pocket in the journal with this, but then I thought, I want to let her use it and do what she wants to do with it. It is a cross-stitched, cute, cute little bear. It doesn't have a back, but whoever did it, I found this at um, a thrift store, and whoever did it, she taped it in there. So, I just kind of left it in, um, you know, left it the way it was, and I'd like to see how how she uses it in her journal. Some line children's paper. Here's um, uh, one of my snippet rolls that I get from Sarah. This one is the feed sack fabric. Wonderful, wonderful snippet rolls. I absolutely love this so much. And then I just stuffed it with some game pieces. This is a vintage Yahtzee card. Um, this is one of my um, index cards that I sewed a little piece of fabric on there for some little playing cards and then I thought this one was super cute because she's a gardener so I put that one in there and then just added some little pearls for her to play with in her journal on the back side I used some piano paper and I backed it onto some cardstock so I can make a pocket with it and then I used one of those quilt patches that my friend Madeline sent me um, as the decoration on it and then just made a little cluster here with a vintage stamp and a piece of Maria's fabric and then I just tucked in one of the tags that I did on one of my previous videos with the fabric tickets. And then she has a little, like a little matchbook notebook in here. So you open it up this way and it just has little scrap pieces of paper that she can use to journal on. And she can decorate the cover if she wants to. And then in the very back here is an envelope that I made from vintage wallpaper. And inside is just a cute little card for her as well. I think it's like a little postcard. Okay, here's one of those washi tape um, tags that I made on one of my previous videos that I did. And so I just paper clipped it on and I put a cute little dangle off of the paper clip there. There's a scripture on the other side of that. And then this is one of those quilt book pages that I absolutely love. Here is another pocket that I made with the fabric that Maria sent to me. This is um, one of those altered paper clip charms um, that one of my sweet friends sent me in some happy mail and I thought it went cute um, with this journal. This little cluster here I added for decoration but it has a, um, a little teeny tiny mini Spanish book page to it. So I thought that was super cute to add in as well. And I made her a card out of one of my um, patchwork pages. This, to I topped it with some of the fabric that she sent me and a cute little flower. I love these colors. I, I just, I love, love, love this book. Super pretty book. Here is a piece of vintage wallpaper. I absolutely love this vintage wallpaper. This is another one of those cards that I got from that set. And then on the back side, I have still had some of those precious moments scripture cards left over so I tucked one of those in there and I thought it was cute that I didn't mean to do it but um, I put it on the same page with with this book page and then this is like that really cool jelly paper vintage dictionary page this is some vintage wrapping paper that one of my friends sent me in happy mail super super pretty and then um, tucked her little uh, Bible scripture here um, and it's clipped, um, the paper clip is embellished. And then on the back side is another one of those washi tags um, that I did. The other side of some wallpaper. One of my workbook pages. This was a super cool um, piece of scrapbooking paper. And I just made her a pocket here 
hopefully you can see that okay, with um, a piece of um, embroidery that one of my friends had sent me and said, what would you do with this? And so I made a pocket out of it, Leslie. So there you go. Um, and then I just, I made her, um, I'm, I love, love making fabric tags. Um, I just like the texture of it. I like the feel of it. And I love, love, love this fabric. I need to stop saying love, 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 don't I? I'm sorry. <laughs> but I do love it. Um, I love this feed sack fabric. And so I just backed it onto some um, a file folder. And then I put her name down there on the bottom. And again, I'm not showing you everything that's in the journal, just simply because I want her to have some surprises. I did some edging on this paper, and then I made a pocket with some of my um, rose, the pink rosette lace that I have um, in my shop. I think I'm actually sold out right now, so I've got some more on order. Um, but it's it's uh, people love it. Um, but it's super pretty, and I love how it's see-through. And so this is a piece of vintage stationery, vintage Holly Hobby stationery. And so I put her a piece of that in there. And this envelope actually goes with this stationery. You can see that they match. And so I wanted to put the envelope. I didn't want to put anything else in this pocket with this because I kind of wanted this just to be a focal point on this page. And so here's the envelope that goes with it on a cute little paper clip. And then I just sewed some fabric on top of a index card to make her a journaling card out of that as well and then here we are the center signature kind of wanted to leave this plain so she'd have lots of room for journaling um, but on some of the plain pages I did put some washi and some of that tape and things like that this was a really cool page that I got out of an ideals magazine and I thought it was super cute with the way she's dressed with her little braid kind of went with the holly hobby theme Almost finished, guys. This is one of those little vintage um, gift bags that I got from Selena. So I just sewed it into the page. And then I just tucked her some little floral images down in there that I had left over um, from a project that I had worked on because I know she loves the floral stuff. But in this, I love this, this um, scrapbooking paper. I love the way it's shaped all the way around. And then I made her a little another little journaling card and topped it with some of the fabric that she sent me and just paper clipped it on it's with an altered paper clip scripture on the back we're going to flip through pretty quickly now just to get us to the end of the book this is just from a children's book page and i thought it would be super cute to use in the journal for her this i made a pocket out of an actual sewing pattern the paper that comes in the sewing pattern, the actual pattern. And so on this side, it's a pocket with one of my quilted background tags. This pocket actually folds up and it's just sewn to the page. So you can have some secret journaling space there. And I just put her some extra ones of those little tags in both sides of the pockets. This is a piece of vintage Holly Hobby stationery that my sweet friend Kristen sent me. Hey Kristen, thank you. And I just um, tucked the envelope at the top with an altered paper clip. This is one of those snippet roll um, that I get from Sarah. And I just tucked her some cool little playing cards that have to do with gardening in there. And one of my calendar pages. This is that floating pocket that I showed you that I made out of my quilted background pages on the last video. And it just has a little charm dangle there on the paper clip. This is the other side of the bag. Again, I left it closed so she can decide if she wants to open that up or leave it. I love this. This is always one of my favorite images of Holly Hobby. This is that coin envelope. Um, sorry guys. Uh, the coin envelope that I made on my last video. And then here's the other end of the piano paper and I made it a flip out. And I love that um, I was able to incorporate the actual end of the piano roll into the journal. So stinking cute. And then that is the end of the journal. So hopefully she loves it. I hope she loves it as much as I do. I had lots of fun making this journal 
and so I can't wait to get it into her hands because I know she's excited for it. So thank you for watching, you guys. Leave me any comments or questions that you have in the comment box below. Don't forget to like the video if you liked what you saw. And subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber. And um, hit the little notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload more videos. So I hope you guys have a great day. And um, thanks for watching. Big hugs.